This is Kurt from Light Shapers Magazine, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a composite image like this one. Um, I created this image with a plugin called Topaz Remask, and it's much simpler than using the options that Photoshop gives you, and this is going to save you a lot of time and energy. And if you guys are interested in the lighting setup of this, you can go to this page to check out the lighting setup I used to create this image. So let's get into the editing on this. So here's my original image. So basically we want to pull her out of the background. And usually when you do this you want to have like a white background, but I was shooting on a darker one so it's, you know, she's not as you know, she's not standing out as much as she should. But you'll see with Topaz Remass, it's, you can pretty much take, you know, I can take this entire image out of the background. And it's pretty simple to do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a duplicate layer. And then I'm going to go to my filter, Topaz Lab, Topaz Remask. The idea is to basically highlight the edge of her. And then we're going to choose what area we want to keep and what area we want to get rid of. So what I can do is select this blue brush right here. And I'm basically just going to trace her. Okay, so once I have her traced, I'm going to go to my fills, I'm going to hit my red, and I'll just fill the area which I want to get rid of. And then once that's set, the green is what I want to keep. So I'm just going to hit compute mask. Okay, so this is the mask that we get from that. And I can go to my keep, see what that looks like. So there's going to be a few areas where we need to basically just add and subtract because this masking isn't perfect, and especially since this was shot on a darker background. It's going to be there's going to be areas where you're going to have to add or subtract. So to add back in I'm just going to go to the magic brush and select the, the green brush and, and I can go back to my mask and you can you can barely see this but there's kind of gray areas within this white that which means that it's not going to create a perfect mass, so we have to just add add that back. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I got everything that I wanted to get and um, next thing I'm going to do is go to my my edge shift and I'm going to actually shift the edge of my image in a little bit this way it kind of takes off this you can see like a slight fringe around the image so basically it's just going to remove that so I'm going to go to uh, negative 5 and that should just take away the fringe out on the outside of the image just to clean it up a little bit um, and this looks pretty set so I can just hit OK this is the final composite from 
Topaz Remask. And the next thing we need to do is put this into our background. So I'm just going to copy this. And then this is the background image I'm going to throw it in. So I'm just going to paste it in. I resized this already to to fit. Um, actually, I just resize this just a tiny bit more. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is just position her. So I kind of want her a little bit off center. Okay, so I like her right there. Um, the only thing I do not like is there's some space right here between the building and sky. And then I also have this window right here. So I need to remove that. So I'm just going to create a new background layer. Just duplicate it. Um, so I want to zoom in here. So I just want to clone a portion of this and then replace it right here. So I'm going to go to my clone tool and make sure I'm selected on my background. Make this a little bit smaller. Okay. And I want to change the flow of this to 100. Okay, so that looks good, I like that. So I zoom out. And it looks like the building just continues on. And then I also want to change this right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just clone this area. zoom out, looks like it just continues with the building, and then I'll just add her back in. I'm going to make the background a little bit cooler to bring it more in line with with her color tones. Like you can see like her hair is kind of a bluish tone, um, her clothing kind of has like a, a bluish tint to it, so I'm going to add an adjustment and I'm going to add um, let's see so I'm going to add a channel mixer and so I'm on my red channel now um, So I'm just going to bring this down just a little bit. So then I'll go to my blue channel. So I'm going to add some more blue to that. And then I'll go to my green. Okay, so I like I like that. That, that looks pretty cool. 
Okay, and also what I want to do is I want to make sure this is clipped to only the background layer and not the model. So I'm going to right click and then create clipping mask. So any changes to this adjustment layer is only going to affect the background. So see if I take it off, take it on, it's just affecting the background. Okay, now, if, now I want to go to her and I want to do the same thing. Um, actually, I'm just going to go with hue, let's see, I'm going to go with color balance this time. And I'm going to work, do, this, do the same thing, create a create a clipping mask so I'm only focused on her and I want to work on my shadows and I'm going to make that just a little bit more blue and then see, I'll just see if my midtones um, I'll probably just reduce my midtones just by a tiny bit. And I'm just going to add some more cyan. So it's going to add a little bit more bluish tint to her skin. And highlights. Um, I could do the same thing, but I think I'm just going to leave, leave that. Um, actually, I can add just a little more cyan. So um, let's go with negative three and then I'm going to add a new layer and this layer is going to be between my background and my model layer and then I'm going to go to my brush tool and I'm going to select a white brush and I'm going to make this kind of kind of big and then I want to change the blending mode to soft light. And it's just going to create kind of like an, a slight little edge, edge light around her. Even though we have these edge lights, it's just going to kind of blend her and the background together. So I'm going to go to my white brush. I'm going to change my hardness to soft. And then I'll just go to the flow of like 10. You can see as I do this, kind of brightens it up. Okay, and I think I may add just a curve layer in here. Bring that down just a tiny bit. So I like that. So you can see the uh, this layer right here, the, the soft light layer. Um, it's turned off right now, and then if we turn it back on, you can kind of see it kind of just draws your focus more to her, it kind of creates a, a nice backlighting. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys.